Auzubillahiminashshaitwanirrajim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's topic is group accounts. And in group accounts, the consolidation is the main thing in it. So first of all, let's see the learning outcome. Consolidation is a huge subject and step-by-step -step approach will enable the students the basic group accounts. Now, working group structure, calculate goodwill and non-controlling interest. These three words, group structure, mean in a particular group, which companies are there. Then how the goodwill is going to be calculated when you are acquiring a certain company, the goodwill of that company. And the non-controlling interest, they are the one who have minority shareholdings. Understand the difference among holding subsidiary, sub-subsidiary, associates, joint venture, joint operations. So these are the itself individually a topic. So we have to go one by one that if we have the holding company and then we have the subsidiary and if we add another subsidiary or if we add an associated company. So there are there are different topics which we have to cover. They will prepare consolidated financial statement and they will make necessary adjustment to eliminate the intergroup balances. Another important thing in group account is that since they are dealing with each other, so their intercompany balances, transactions should be eliminated because group means a, one unity, not, not a different companies, just one but that includes number of companies. Objective of this, uh, these standards is to establish principles for pre presentation and preparation of consolidated financial statements when an entity control one or more other entities. That one holding company, the big company, having shares in the other companies. So, if you are a holding company and they are your subsidiaries, then you need to prepare the consolidated accounts. To meet the objective, require an entity, the parent. Parent is the main company who is taking care of the other companies that control one or more entity. Not necessarily there is one parent company and there is only one subsidiary. There can be more than two, three, four subsidiaries. So, holding company, parent company with control, and they prepare the consolidated financial statements. And control is the basis for consolidation. That is the most important thing. This word control is explained time and again in the standards that what we mean by control. Control here means to take charge of policy making. That if you are in a position to dominate in policy making, that it means you have a control. Set out how to apply the principles of control to identify whether an investor control investee and therefore must consolidate the investee. Now again, these two words, investor is the parent company, those who are buying the shares of other companies. Investee in which the holding company is investing. So parent company is investing company and subsidiary or sub-subsidiaries are investing companies. So we have to make a consolidated accounts. Set out the accounting requirement for preparation of the consolidated financial statements. Now see all these four standards which I mentioned. Criteria is if you have a shareholding of a company more than 50%. Maybe 100%, but not less than 50%. Or you may have 20% to 50%. So the one which is more than 50% is your subsidiary company or sub subsidiary. And if it is 20 to 50, it is associates company. And joint arrangements may, do chizangi, a joint control may, joint ventures or joint operations. Ye do chizangi. Ab isme deke shareholding ka clear kar le. If more than 50% so then you have a subsidiary and if you have an associate then you have 20 to 50 and the joint venture operation is a different thing. There is a lot of control. Majority votes full control. 
यानी आपके पास पूरा कंट्रोल है और सिग्निफिकेंट इन्फ्लुएंस वहाँ पे डोमिनेशन है पहले केस में और यहाँ पर सिग्निफिकेंट इन्फ्लुएंस और आगे जो शेयरिंग है फिफ्टी फिफ्टी और जॉइंट ऑपरेशन में शेयरिंग डिपेंड्स अपॉन वट एवर एग्रीमेंट दे हैव अकाउंटिंग पार्ट ऑफ इट एक्विजिशन और परचेज मैथड इक्विटी मैथड एंड इन केस ऑफ ऑपरेशन इट कैन बी इक्विटी मैथड और कॉस्ट मैथड सो फॉर शेयरिंग ऑफ एसेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज रेवेन्यूज एक्सेट्रा एंड स्टैंडर्ड नंबर मैंशन आई एस ट्वेंटी सेवन आई एफ आर टेन आई एफ आर एस थ्री आई एस ट्वेंटी एट आई एफ आर एस एलेवन आई एफ आर एस एलेवन सो दीज आर द स्टैंडर्ड्स विच कवर्स दीज कंसोलिडेशन ना पेरेंट कंपनी बेसिकली इन्वेस्टिंग कंपनी एंड सब्सिडरी कंपनी और कंपनीज एंटिटी इन्वेस्टिंग एंटिटी हैविंग डायरेक्ट कंट्रोल say 80% holding by the parent company then subsidiary if parent have 80% or 75% of more than 50% control that other company that will be a subsidiary company which parent having indirect control through the subsidiary sub subsidiary in direct control and if you have a subsidiary company in that case you don't have a direct control but you have a control through a subsidiary so that is a another vertical group that you got for parent company you got subsidiary company you got sub subsidiary company then there is another d type of structure d type of structure means parent have in subsidiary subsidiary have in sub subsidiary and parent also have in the, uh, the the d company so it couldn't be a curve so it's a d shape and associates company is very simple 20% to 50% so these are the group structure thank you very much